Proteus includes a sophisticated manual routing system to help you make connections quickly. However, before you start placing tracks, there are a few setup tasks to consider. You should set up your stack layer and drill ranges. Protus will use this information when you are routing to use the most appropriate via range. You should set up design rules for the board to specify how far apart objects on the PCB need to be from each other. Proteus can use this during routing to ensure valid tracks are placed. The Net Classes tab lets you set track widths and via styles for signals carrying different amounts of current. Proteus will use this automatically to use the correct track width when you are routing a connection. Finally, the Layer Pairs dialog allows you to set the default destination layers for vias on more complex PCBs with lots of signal layers. Now that setup is complete, we can begin routing. Start by selecting track mode, then the desired layer, and finally click left on one of the pads. If you move the mouse, you can see that the trace follows the path you have taken. You'll also see a shadow track to the nearest destination, and you can press the enter button on your keypad at any time to automatically complete the track. If you prefer, you can route manually to the destination, guiding the track placement by moving the mouse. If you need to be more precise, you can left click during placement to lock in the existing track. A left click on the destination pad will commit the trace. If you need to change layers while placing a track, you can double click to drop a via and switch layers and continue routing on the other layer. Alternatively, you can float a via by hitting the space bar during placement. This will then allow you to move and position the via as close as possible and still obey all the design rules. A left click will drop the floating via and you can continue routing on the associated layer. The default routing mode is push and shove mode meaning that you can move other tracks and vias out of the way to make space for the track being placed. You can use the Shift-P shortcut to switch to follow me routing mode, which will hug other routes rather than move them. The current routing mode is shown on the status bar alongside the route length during placement. More route placement configuration options can be found on the Route Command Center which can be launched on the keyboard shortcut R at any time. Here you can set the cornering style and control trace widths and next style options for the route. You can also control the size of the visual design rule viewport. Visual DRC provides a circular halo around the mouse and each object then shows an expansion corresponding to its design rule clearance in an overlay. This makes it easier to visualise the best way to get the track to its destination in densely packed boards. After placement, you can drag individual segments to make changes to the topology of the track. Route editing is also design rule aware and works in both push mode and hug mode, making it really easy to tidy up routes and maximise space on the layout. You can also select and change the width of the track or the layer on which it is routed. If you prefer free form editing without constraints, or if your route is already in violation, you can turn off DRC Aware editing via the Shift A keyboard toggle. In this mode, the visual DRC border will highlight if a violation is present anywhere in the route being edited. 
Objects near the mouse will also highlight if you drag the route into an illegal position inside the viewport area. The track style will be automatically chosen for you based on your net class settings and will obey all of the specified design rules for the board. In tight areas or to connect to thin pads, you can force the track into a narrower neck style via the root command center. Curved routing is fully supported in Proteus. Simply toggle curved corners on while routing to switch into curved track mode. These circular arcs are all designable wear as well. However, if you need elliptical curves, you need to switch to unconstrained routing mode and then hold the control key down. Switch back to normal routing modes in the root command center when you are finished. If you need to match the length of signals, configuration of length matching takes place on the technology menu. Then select your tracks by holding Ctrl key down and left clicking consecutively on each track. Next, right click on one of the tracks and either match the routes to the specific length or match them to each other. Match tracks can be viewed in connectivity mode and a report produced from the board information dialog form. Differential pairs are set up on the schematic with the diff pair configurator. Then on the layout, simply select diff pair routing mode and route both lines together. In addition to obeying normal design rules, diff pairs will follow clearances and tolerances as set in the design rule manager. Teardrops can be configured from the technology menu and will then apply to the entire board. Once set up, teardrop connections will be added both on route completion or route edit. Proteus will allow you to choose or change a cornering type for the track on the board, either on a per track basis by right clicking on the track or as a global command on all the tracks on the board via the edit menu. This is typically at its most useful as a post-routing step to minimize track length or to avoid solder traps.